Meantime, Northwestern's offense is sputtering. They're still hitting negative. Six kills, eight errors. Something this Mendoza. That ball hit over by McGreal. That'll be returned. Uyato outside. And again, it is Oleval. Big hit there. And did it make contact? No, it did not. Let's go inside the numbers presented by Burger King. 17 matches for the Wildcats this season will be against teams ranked, uh, ranked in this week's top 25. That's tough. 17 matches start right now against Hawaii. It's from now to the end of the season. That's a lot of top 25 matches. 12 serving five. And those are serving again. That ball was hit and blocked back by McGreal. Ryan goes outside McCandy. And McCandy is able to get the ball off the block. You know, Keeler Chan, their, their coach, is telling me, I'm really glad we're going to the Big 14 instead of the Big 10 because I want Maryland and Rutgers to join our volleyball conference. Finally, I'll catch a breather once in a while. I wonder if they'll still call it the Big Ten. He says he thinks they'll still call it the Big Ten. They are now, right now, for volleyball anyway. Oliveau gets it over. There's Ryan with the serve. McGreal gets it across. Hawaii, little, little tap by Adolfo, and a lift is called on Northwestern. And it's now 13 to 6. Hawaii leading in the second set. Hawaii winning the first set 25 to 12. Manu Olevao will serve. That's received by Holtis. Holtis comes back, rips it down the line. And the lift is called on Hawaii. I believe it was on Olivao. I'm not sure. That was one of those bang, bang, quick calls. Kind of a 50-50 call. Pretty good reactions here. Here's the ball dug up by Longo. And popped up again by Manu Olivao. Just held on to it too long. Adolfo gets it across. That ball hit by McGreal. Is tap, tap, tapped again. Ball comes over by Higgins. He's just into the game, and a net violation has been called. Oh, Emily Hartung, what reactions, though, on that last block by Hartung? You know, the blockers can touch the ball twice. They once at the block, and then watch Emily's quick reaction right there with her right hand, keeping the ball alive. Boy, still in the rally. Ball hit over by Goodman. McGreal gets it across. Here's Higgins, back set. Goodman gets it through the block, chased down by Ryan. Paffin gets it across. That ball hit over by Adolfo and in. The game shows you double sub of getting Kayla Goodman and, and Taylor Higgins did at the same time. He gets a bigger lineup up front, and Taylor Higgins is proving that she can set the ball, not quite to the caliber of Mita Uyato, but almost. She's getting there. Longo serving. Ryan sets up McGreal. That's blocked back. And let's see, a point will be, a net violation is going to be on Olibov. Well, they called the net violation actually on Jane Vorster, and Vorster's telling Dave Shoji, Coach, it wasn't me. Actually, I thought it was uh, Hartong that caught the net, but... I've never been able to figure out the number of fingers that they hold up on that. I thought it was Olibov. Olibov's still in the back row. A ball hit into the net by Abby Krause, who has just come into the game. Another point for Hawaii. They lead 15 to 9 here in the second set. Oh, uh, Uyato comes back into the game. Taylor reports to the front row. And Uyato will serve, uh, will serve now for Hawaii. Taylor, Vorster, and Hartung in the front row. And Hawaii puts up their biggest blocking front line at 6'4, 6'4, 6'2. Outside, Holtis, that's blocked. And that is an authoritative block. I think the freshman Taylor was there, Forster was there. I think the freshman from Kaiser, uh, Nikki Taylor, watch her on the outside. Yeah, I think you got most of them with that right hand of hers. 16-9, Hawaii leads. Uyato serves again. That's received by Nita's ball. And that ball is a solo block by Hartung off of Patham. 
Baffin tried to step out. Hartung was there, loomed in front of her, and executed the block. Actually blocked out of bounds, so Northwestern. Oh, now it's North. You're right. Point. You're right. Longo. Taylor. Now that's the kind of a shot that Dave showed. He's loving to see out of Nikki Taylor on the left side. She may be in the left side future when Hartong leaves, but he has yet to see that kind of a authoritative hit by Tanner from the left. You've seen it from the right, but not quite on the left. That was a beauty. A thing of beauty. Here's Castle just into the game. Ashley Castle from Phoenix, Arizona. She will serve 17-10. Hawaii leads. Step out. Paffin hits it, but it's blocked back by Borster. The ball is hit by Maureen, and that's blocked. Yeah, I think Borster got most of that one. Borster and Taylor kind of put it up together. Watch you see how quickly they move. Nice, well-formed block right there. Yeah, Borster got all of that one. Hawaii with six blocks on the night. Ryan gets it over. That ball is put over by Marine. Hawaii with another opportunity. That ball hit over by Olibao. Pushed over and in by Paffin. And a smart yeah, shot by Paffin. She found the open, gaping hole over there. Longo usually fills that hole. It just didn't get there in time. The left side blocker comes in. Libero's supposed to fill that spot. Serving is Paffin. That ball hit by Taylor, and Taylor just eludes the double block or a semblance of a double block. Taylor, six kills, one error. What a difference a day makes for Nikki Taylor. Struggled last night. All world tonight. Alabara has come in to serve. Serves it wide. So a point for Northwestern. Greel comes back into the front row. Along with Slater and along with Paffin. So I mean is Ryan. That's long. Hawaii gets to the plateau. 20 to 12. They lead by eight. Mendoza comes in to serve now for Hawaii. I like the way Dave showed she's giving Emily Hartong a rest. So she does have to play six rotations all night long for three nights in a row, every single set. Right now, Ashley Castle giving Emily Hartong a break. Mendoza serving in the air by Holtis. That ball hit over by Marine. Uyato goes cross court. And that ball hit down the line by Oli Bao. She put it right by McCreel, who was up on the block. So it's 21 to 12. Timeout, Northwestern. Hawaii doing it again. American Savings showing us the remaining tournament schedule tomorrow at 4.30, Portland State against Northwestern, and at 7 o'clock, it's Arizona against number 10, Hawaii, 7 o'clock tomorrow. 21-12, second set. Serving is Mendoza. Step out. Ball is blocked out by Ole Bob, and the point will be awarded to Maggie Burnham, who has just come on to the floor. Burnham is 6-3 out of Toledo, Ohio. Serving is Maureen. Boy, that was an out ball. Chased down by Ole Bob. Uyato gets it over. Outside it goes to Holtis. That's blocked back. Now they go to McGill, and that saved. The ball comes over by Longo. I mean, that's incredible. Still alive. They go to McGreal again. There's Longo again. Uyato. The ball is hit over and down by Olebao. Oh, the crowd loves it. What a gift Penn State gave us. And Ali Longo, there's one play where she gives up her body. Then she bumps this one over the net. Miraculous little bump. And at the end of the play, Ty Manu Oliva out of Hilo just crushes it through the block for Hawaii's 22nd point. Manu Oliva will serve. 
Ball goes to McCreel. That's blocked back, and that's another point for Hawaii. Boy, the Hawaii block has just been stubborn, steady, solid. Seven blocks. They normally average at this stage in the second set. Well, they probably have about maybe three and a half blocks in the night. They've got seven right now, double their normal output. Hawaii leads by 10, 23, 13, second set. Serving is Ginger Long to go to Holtis. In the air again by Longo. Ball is hit over by Castle. I don't think there's a player for Hawaii that's played tonight that hasn't had a perfect match. I mean, Hawaii is just sharing in the bounty. This is Aloha Ball, 24-13, second set. Serving is long. That ball is blocked back. In the air by Ryan. Nita's ball. And, Mc and McGreal finally hits it off the block. With the cable, I think, off it never went over the net. She, she claimed it was off the block. It was not. She's still smiling about that. But Hawaii wins the second set, and they win it easily. We've got a great look at Poncho's solar power play of the match. Watch Ashley Castle right here, number 15. She goes up and just powers this ball over the block and through and down in the backcourt. Great shot by Ashley Castle. Hawaii leads two sets to none. Time for the intermission. OC Sports presented on Oceanic Time Order Cable is sponsored by Bank of Hawaii and Kaiser Permanente. Welcome back to the Stan Charles Center, everybody. Let's go uh, and take a look at the uh, stats presented by McDonald. Well, it's been all Hawaii, just like the scores, the scoreboard. Look at Hawaii, kills 29-13, and very few hitting errors. Hawaii hitting 431. They hit about 315 on the year. It's number eight in the country, hitting 431. That's phenomenal. And they're holding Northwestern to a 0, 0, 0 hitting percentage. That's it, playing some pretty good defense. Last night against Portland State, Hawaii started very slowly. It was a come down from uh, the great celebrations of last week. Tonight, I am impressed with the team effort. Everyone has participated. Everyone has, has shared in the quality of play. And that is really something to see. Because those of us who said, geez, how good is this team? This is an example of how good it is. There's about four players who have zero errors so far. See Nikki Taylor and Ty Mano Olibao last night. Eight kills, nine errors. They hit minus. Tonight, 12 kills, one error, 524. That's a, it's a big J. Oh, what a difference a day makes. Uyato gets us started in set number three. Whistle blows, net violation called on Northwestern. I think that one was on Kayla Marine going into the net. Oyato to serve again. White leading two to nothing. Others hit over by McGreal and blocked back. That's blocked back again. Olivao and Adolfo. Boy, the Hawaii blocking tonight. Sensational. The block party and blocking.